Welcome, foolish mortals. Um, we are going to sort through some comics today. Um, here in, let's do this other camera. Mr. Rum. So we've got these to sort Whoa. through. Wow. These to sort through. Um, I got all of them for like $150 at my comic book store. Wow. I didn't realize you had, you had a comic collection as well. These are oh, new. Oh, yeah, my God. Oh, my God. There. I have a lot. You know me. I never do things small. Wow. So let's get rid of this camera. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of these. Wow. What are your favorite lines to collect? Um, Transformers and Star Wars have always been been the biggies. Look who's here. It's the White Shadow. Yes. Hold on, guys. How you doing? Are you good? Shadow knows. knows. Shadow knows. No. Something. <laughs> Sleeping. How you doing, man? Sleepy and I need to get with you. Are you still going to uh, Nashville? Because uh, if so, we need to get together and, and we were talking about doing a stream or something together. Duffman. Rolando, how you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Mr. G-Force. Taking a, another respite before he starts his uh, spring uh, mowing, I suppose. We all know what that means. We all know what that really means. Well, mm -hmm. no. We'll be out there dethatching real soon. Yeah. Yep, as soon as, uh, as soon as the neighbor makes an appearance, <clears throat> he'll be out mowing again. Hi, Chief. Yeah. The season starts. Mm -hmm. That's cool, Sleepy. I just want, I want to make sure we get together and do something. So, um, I'll be there all three days. I actually get in Thursday. I'm going to do go do something with Ashley um, on uh, one of those days. But then, uh, you know, oh, jeez, it's already mowing. Rummy's already mowing. Yeah. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh my god! We all know what that means. He's he's a adorned the vest, and uh, he's red. Hey. 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, I showed my wife that last night. She was cracking up that <laughs> photo. And then yeah. I showed Chris from uh, the uh, dad, uh, dad pool. Dad pool. I was, uh, went to Comic-Con with him last night. And uh, yes, yeah. So I showed him. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is what John is. <laughs> he was dying. He's like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'd <laughs> sue for likeness. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Well, this stream is generally to show some of these mm -hmm. comics because I haven't looked through them yet. Um, John has some comics he wants to show off. Rum's got some toys in. Uh, Chip, what do you in. got? I mm -hmm. actually got toys in and stuff from my yeah, comic account right. yesterday. Well, I, I got all kinds stuff. of stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah, I could do some stuff. After the disappointment of whatever guy you guys were playing, what was it, Battlefield 2042? Uh, 2024 or something uh, like that, 2042, something. Whatever it was, it needs to be Stay in the past and not in the future. <laughs> what are you doing, John? He's got his mole man or his <laughs> fly. Yeah, exactly. I did see uh, uh, Walmart kind of like, marked uh, all the kind of like goes, down to seven bucks. Bzz, I am oh, the fly. Bzz, help me. <laughs> help me. Help me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the funny part is rum throwing out. A... <laughs> He's got a Gornak or whatever the hell those things yeah. are from from the Ewoks. Mm -hmm. I am a Gorax. I will I Dude, will that's... abuse your body and eat you. He's big. I don't have anything open. He's pretty big. 
I got this cool um look at this. It's it's issue twenty one of G.I. Joe. Oh yeah. On the card back for Pretty like cool. snake eyes. These these are up on Amazon for like twelve dollars right now, eleven ninety nine. So I good. grabbed one and it, it shipped immediately and it's in good shape. I mean it was Yeah. They're they yeah, this is really cool. Because this is like the classic comic. <laughs> yeah, I like those bags. Mm -hmm. They were going to do um, a few more of them, but I think they decided just to keep going with figures instead of doing so many uh, exclusives. Oh, you mean the comic back? They were going to do. Yeah, that was a Target back? exclusive initially. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I've been seeing them on discount, I've been grabbing them because. Um, I don't want to pay the eighteen dollars, but when I see them for like ten, twelve, fifteen, I've been getting them. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, there's a new wave coming out at Target, so they should be barking those down again shortly. Yeah. And I got an Indiana Jones. No, oh, nice. But I'm I'm very sad at how flimsy this card is. It's like a piece yeah. of paper. It's not even mm. cardboard. It literally is like a piece of printer paper that you would get out of your printer instead of. A piece of cardboard. It's really, really like I. I almost thought this was fake mm -hmm. when I got it in the mail. This came from uh, Hasbro Pulse, I think it was. And when they showed up in the mail, I thought they were fake. I was mm. like, these aren't because the the back the card the backing is so bad. I mean, it's literally a piece of paper. It's not even <coughs> card stock. not even cardstock. Yeah, like mm. it's so bad. But I heard that they've. I heard the second run is thicker than the first run. Like, like they they realized the problem and made a second run that's thicker than the first run. So well, I, I haven't come across <laughs> any yet that are in and mint. They're all slightly warped, even in the boxes. I, I I physically opened a case, and they're all slightly warped inside the case as well. Yeah, they're oh, wow. they're the thinnest card back thing I've ever felt. It's crazy how yeah. re it's really bad. They really skimped out on that one. All right, I got to go get my stack of comics over there, and I'm going to start bagging stuff up. Let's see your yeah. Death's Head there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I love Death's Head. Yeah. He's originally a Transformer. He's a bounty hunter. Uh, yeah, he was, he was first appeared in the UK Transformer comics. Yeah. Megatron, uh, Galvatron hired him to kill Ultra Magnus and Hot Rod. Ultra Magnus. And then um, he kind of spun off and he fought Doctor Who. And then he uh, came over to the U.S. and he was messing with uh, um, um, oh, uh, the Fantastic Four. In a way, the, de the, the Doctor Who did a crossover with Transformers. Yes. So technically they're in the same universe. It's crazy. It was a U.K. Um, well, there's... Some transformers right there, Some classics. It's Ultra Magnus right there, yeah. With Dragon Claw, and here's a, you know, that guy, Rum. Oh yeah, awesome Captain Britain. Yeah, he's a great Captain America knockoff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Then I got, um, let's see, issue one, two, three, and four. Cool. Of um, Journey to the Rise of Skywalker from Star Wars. Cool. What? 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 It might even, what? I don't. It, it doesn't have Babu Fick in it, I don't think. <laughs> Which, at least they can do these comics because there was a year time jump in between uh, The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. You can't do anything between the other two movies because only like three days takes place. Three days? Yeah, that's... Yeah. They literally say that in the movie. 
They they defeated the first order and three and then in three days they've been evacuating the base, and then the rest of the movie takes place in just over eighteen hours. Mm-hmm. So the first two movies take place in like a week, if that. A week. Yeah. Ant Man, number one. Ant Man. Alone, a a, alone against the antagonist. Look at uh, that. Uh, 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 yeah. I gotta love Marvel. <laughs> Their puns are always great. So witty. Yes. That's why people, when they they're like, "Oh, Marvel." You know, you know, MCU humor, blah blah blah. Have you not read the comics for fifty years? They're constantly joking about something. I mean, Peter Parker alone is a just a hit parade of stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Wind, Cosmic Wind. Still there? <laughs> Are they farting on everybody? Look, there's Photon. Is that a new... Oh, nice. Rambo. Getting her ready for uh, her premiere in the Marvels movie. Who's this little guy? Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to get you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's like Kremzeek in Transformers. Kremzeek. Kremzeek. Yeah. Cool. Where's my That's thing? Funny. Where's my thing? Oh, here it is. Still got Tamagotchis. Holy shit! I know you somebody who's Tamagotchi. still who's still Tamagotchi is still alive. Yeah, like I'm looking through a magazine from yesterday at the Comic Con, and we got a Tamagotchi there. Yeah. I've got the some. Hell? I've got some. I've got some Tamagotchi. I, I used, I, yeah, I went. I used to go around the car boots trying to find Tamagotchi. I've got many. Uh, got, isn't there a about, um, about half a dozen of them? Hmm. Extreme X Men. Isn't there a R two D two Tamagotchi? Yeah, there's there an R two D two one. I was waiting there for him. I would have thought they would have made a Grogu by now. There is. Look, they have they have button things, so I can cut these out and turn them into <laughs> buttons. See? <laughs> Marvel knows. They're like, well, we got to make a page for John to cut out and turn into buttons. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Zavi is selling the uh, Haslab Galactus. That's crazy. Oh, How much? Um, 500 quid. That's about that. Is that normal price? No, it's more because it's free, it was 350, wasn't it? Oh, was it? I didn't remember it being that cheap. Gold Goblin five. Gold. What is that? Gold Goblin. Yeah, it's when the the Green Goblin turns to a good guy. But yep. is he going to stay that way? No, of course. Well, no, not. he never does. He's been a good guy like five, six times. Usually, isn't it the hobgoblin that turns him back evil? Yeah, someone, yeah. Or like somebody keys his car and he's like, that's it, you're all dead. It's the red goblin in this one that'll do it. Do you remember her? He's the red goblin. Oh, girl. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sl- oh, sludge. They tend, tend to be like, uh, like the. Uh, Green Lantern core. They are now. There's like a thousand different goblins. Yeah. Well, between him and yeah. them and the uh, different colored hulks. Yeah, that too. Yep. Thor versus Doctor Doom. Rock a Doom. Doom's made of metal. That's not going to go well. What superpowers does, does Doom actually have any powers? Uh, He's got some I, electromagnetic ability, doesn't he? Where he can. I think he does now. He didn't used to. No, he um, didn't in the beginning. Yeah. He used to be an like, Iron Man type of guy. Yeah. Mm. And then I, I'm pretty sure he became a mutant at some point. Yeah, he got some powers at some point. Yeah. And he dabbled in magic because he stole 
he stole someone's magic, I think, at one point. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was out yesterday, Rolando, and I got a um, an Indian and a Marion from my target. Mm -hmm. I might go out again today. We'll have to see. You know, sleeping, um, I'm doing better than I have been in a long time, honestly. I still don't sleep very well, but uh, I feel better than I have in ages. Hulk. Oh, Hulk. There you go. I was re oh, I keep forgetting. Isn't WrestleMania like three nights long now? It's unnecessary amount of time. Oh, Hulk smash Hulk's face. <laughs> <laughs> Spaceship Hulk. I want to. Uh, I, th I mean, I know. I just don't. I can't find any interest in watching WrestleMania. I wish I could. We used to live for WrestleMania. Yeah, I used to stay up. We used to stay up. Be erected get Scotty to have it. And um, used to love and SummerSlam and the Survivor Series. Oh yeah! And, and uh, I got some RoboCop. Oh um, cool! Oh, nice. that's cool. So <laughs> some Marvel first cool. issue, number one. Number one on there, yep. Number two. Oh nice! I think when I first saw this, I thought that was um, what was that one Power Guy? Marvel of, uh, oh, I can't remember. They just recently brought him back. Oh, issue three and four. Cool. Sweet. Five. Didn't even know Robocop had a comic. See, so mm -hmm. he's had tons of comics. Oh, yeah. Seven. Because Dark Horse did it for a while. And then, um, a oh, other. tell tell a lie. I actually do have, I believe, a Robocop versus Terminator okay. comic. Oh, cool! Yeah. Uh, Robocop 2. <laughs> oh, nice. Issues one, yeah. Didn't Dark Horse do everybody versus everybody? Like, well, Terminator yeah. versus that, Robocop. Ron. Oh, cool. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Robocop versus Terminator 1 and 2. Cool. And 3. And 4. Oh, well, that's wow. very cool. That's cool. Isn't that like a dog? I'm like, is that, am I wrong? Is it like a, is that like a Terminator, a Robocop dog? Uh, yes, there's a Terminator dog. Of some Terminator kind. dog, yeah. Oh, was. yeah, it's got metal. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at that. Uh, That's cool. Honestly, it's probably been 20 or more years since I read this comic, so. Yeah, it's funny what you remember. I just remember a dog for some reason. I'm not even sure what the premise of it was. If he moved to our future or if he just survived Judgment Day. Jeez. Okay. So he comes across this little kid and it says, um, the only purpose they serve is, is creating you just as your purpose is to create us. You have a great destiny. Then he scans the kid and sees he's a Terminator and says, you talk too much. Uh, and shoots the kid in the head. Uh, <laughs> and then shoots his puppy, who then becomes a, a Quintesson for some reason. <laughs> That's crazy. Jeez. Harsh Robocop. Shoots it, it turns into a Quintesson. <laughs> For some reason. You, you're gonna have to teach me how to use this knife today, uh ghost that you sent me. Oh you just you you just you, you pop it up and then when that one gets dull, you snap that end off and move it to the next one. Yeah, you just then when you're not using it, you pull it back down. So it doesn't, uh, so you can't cut yourself. Is there a lid on it? Are you already making it sound more complicated? Sound, sound complicated. No, I, I don't it's think there's a lid. There might be a lid. But, uh, what do you got there, Chip? Um, gosh, uh, well, let's see. I could go with 
some of my new comic book haul. Yeah. The cover of Superman Ooh. 2. These are all from like last week. But Shabbos Palace, oh, Palace number one. Almost oh, cool. Palace, but I'm so trying to stay out of Star Wars again. <laughs> There's too many alt covers for me. Oh, yeah. Star Wars The Blade. Ooh, I like that cover. Nice. See, I stopped with The High Republic ages ago. I, I knew I wasn't ever going to read it, so I stopped. But the covers are nice. Keycap. What's Cat that? Woman. Is that Catwoman or? Yeah. Yeah. Catwoman 83. Oops. Big old nubs out of the way. Ooh, this one. Hello. And then we've got a little purple rain homage with the oh, look at that. I that's love that sexy. one. That's sexy. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Sexy. Bring sexy back. Nice. Kind of a warped. Some of the Joker covers Vision. have been a little kind of scary. There's another sexy one. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and let's see. I'm trying to see what else I got here. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. We got. Oh, oh yeah. man. It doesn't look anything like Yoda. No, oh, not at all. Man. Not at all. Thing is, with poison ivy, is once you've bonked her, you'd have rashes all over your body, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can make a ointment for you, though. Ointments. And then there's this this kind of a. Oh, cool. What's with the mini me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the little minis. Uh... <laughs> Cat's here just in time. To... Cat is here just in time to rub ointment into my body. It's this one. And a couple more here. Cool. I'll lie down so you can start applying okay. applicating it to me. That next time yeah, you yeah. do a stream, I'll come on and um, bomb my phone. Oh, that's it. That's it as far as new newish comics I got. Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I'm sorry. I do have three more, actually. I just remember I picked these up yesterday. So yesterday at the Comic-Con, a buddy of mine ended up getting this free, and he knows that, knows that I was the truth. Oh, oh wow. Well. So that's uh, signed by Ooh. artist of the yeah. cover, which is it's cool. How it makes a skull. John. Yeah. And then I ended up uh, stopping by uh, one of the guys that lives in here, uh, Tim Seeley. So yeah. he actually, so he goes to all the comic cons, and, and he's uh, you know someone who, I know enough that I can walk up to him. He knows who I am. I know who he is because yeah. I've worked comic cons with him. So he ended up. Uh, oh. I nice. got this homage by local man, and then cover. he signed that. And then he also signed this one here, which is the Virgin. Cool. So, and then I was gifted or given free as we were walking around the convention floor. This company set gave me this little Hunter Ninja Bear <laughs> book, which is basically the premise says, you know, Hunter beats Bear, Ninja beats Hunter, Bear beats Ninja. No idea. So I figured I'd check it out though. But I got two of these, so I may actually give one away to one someone today. Okay. So. That, uh, that sounds hilarious. Yeah. From yeah, the makers yeah. of cocaine bear. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No doubt. Does anybody else if you get a feeling we're gonna get a whole lot of that? Oh yeah, yeah that's that's a franchise. Yeah. That's the that's the new Sharknado. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna get worse as they go along. They're gonna yeah. get really bad. That they are. That they are. Because they're gonna then, do, they're gonna do like a cocaine bear, bear versus shark or something like that. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's gotta that's gotta be coming. Yeah. Then a buddy of mine, while we were there at the Comic Con, ended up buying me oh, a hot oh, toy goodness. of the of the repainted uh, Boba Fett armor. So I have Yeah. That is a beautiful. So, yeah, it's all. I haven't opened it up yet, but I plan on maybe opening it up, but that looks cool. That's cool. And it comes with a flame effect and everything? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's got the... Like, 
down here. You can see like the flame effect down here. Oh yeah, yeah. Last, yeah. So yeah, I have to set that up. And then we got just got a couple boxes from Hasbro to open up. So Ooh, we're gonna disappointment my in a box. Yes, exactly, exactly. We lost rum. Puppy, it's rum. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I don't remember ordering that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when that. Yeah, happens. you sound like rum. Yeah, exactly. Except he would be. I, I already have this. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Cool. So, what is, what is it again? What is it? I have the. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Arrow Jade, Dark Force Rises. Yeah. My cover with the. It's, it's, there's no window. Oh, <laughs> what wow. the hell? I was half expected to open it up and see the Marjane's in there. What's the point of having the door then? Yeah, yeah no, okay. that's, exactly that's it. like oh, totally okay. ridiculous. I'm like, that's open the door and that's see that's another really picture, you know? Like, and, they, and, and they used to have the little Velcro that you would pull, and yeah. now it's this little, little tab that basically slides into a hole here. Oh, my so goodness. I'll open it up, I'll pull it out. Oh yeah, everything's in a well, the unboxing slides experience. Slides into a hole. Slides, slides into a hole. Is that her all stuck to do like a little? I know. Yeah, exactly. It looks like oh, she's she... uh, from uh, you know. Uh, she's really Egyptian bad. times. Hello, Gap. No. That Slide, slides in. I'm all for uh, saving the earth, but this is still going too damn far. Yeah. There are recyclable plastics out there. Yep. And bins that you throw them in. Yeah. Well, and that could have been because it has the flap, the box flap that opens. It could have yeah. just been an open box. It didn't even need to have a piece of plastic. Yeah. You know? Well, this is. It's a Mara Jane. Mara Jane. Yeah, Mara yeah you, you missed it. You missed it, Drum. This no. came in a uh, yeah. Dark Force Rises box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lightsaber, okay. and then the lightsaber and the weapons look like they come in these little. I'll open it up later, but it comes. Do you, in think, little... do you think? What are the chances of them bringing Mara Jade into the Mandalorian? Do you think zero. Slim. Probably, zero. Not, yeah, probably not. It not Mara Jade. Anything. The yeah. only thing you could possibly get her to come into is if they were going to introduce her into uh, the the Ahsoka series in Thrawn. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then the other one I got was Dr. Afro. Yeah. Oh, cool. Which, of course, also doesn't have a window. Yes. Yeah. No, Does it not? Is it just a flap again? Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, why not just have that as an open... Double flaps. Yeah, just, I don't just, know why it's not just... To, yeah, Because you can't... Yeah. They're not going in stores, right? No. Uh, uh, GameStop, well, maybe? Yeah, some yeah, stores maybe will have them. Well, the thing is, is they're trapped in that package design now. Yeah. Because if you suddenly put those out as normal black series as they were the comic cover, people are like, well, I already have these three in this one. And blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. be one of them. But, you know, still. <laughs> All right. I'll take her out of her coffin thing. Hey, 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 relax over there, Ron. Yeah, I took her out. And don't accidentally touch your baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's look at that. That yeah. is a great figure. I would buy that if I could see it. You can't see it? Well no, because it's inside a box. Oh, I'm talking about right now. I'm like, you can't see it? <laughs> like how close how much closer can I get to the camera? <laughs> no, I bet you know what the thing I do like is the rubber here isn't it's kind of it's softer it's a softer yeah. rubber Something unlike like some of the uh so she know, still can't sit others. down you like soft rubber yeah she really wouldn't be able to uh sit down <laughs> you know yeah, she got a couple of slits there you could probably slits. but yeah you ain't sitting her down 
You could derobe her, take her jacket off, like yeah, Rumble wants to. Yeah, Rum, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll take her jacket off for you. Do it, do it, just... do it. Do it on camera. <laughs> Apparently, in this issue, Hulk pulls out his god balls. <laughs> god balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, god balls. He's got some meaty balls, ain't he? Mm -hmm. X23. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. Can Lara Kitty. Lara is back. Can I give it to you? Nice, nice, Actually, nice. You. There you go, Rob. Now oh, she's out of her. She's, the road. she's out of her jacket. Oh, she's got weird arms. She's got poop, poop arms. arms. She does have weird arms, yeah. She's got weird arms. She's got weird arms. She's got don't poop like, arms. Don't poop like her arms. Don't like her arms. Don't like it's her like arms. the bicep are in the wrong spot. <laughs> Well, and again, I guess they look okay cover, when you do this. But... Cloth outfit, so I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be a her jacket. Arm, those are her, her jacket, her jacket arms, her jacket yeah. arms. Uh, don't like the jacket arms. Yeah, no. No. Hey, a, no. I mean, have... hello. How's your father? Daz is that Dazzler? It looks like this Dazzler. Thing. I'll be honest. Yeah. See, has like a little turkey articulation uh, right underneath the chest yeah. plate, yeah, and yeah. then. And then actually, oh, yeah. here too. Jesus what the Christ heck? That's the yoga. Yeah, you're gonna have to start a new channel. Weird. You're gonna have to start a new channel. Uh... <laughs> you're gonna start a new channel. Yoga poses <laughs> with my Star Wars figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up. <laughs> it's the Matrix pose. You it's know, abuse, abuse. <laughs> that's, that's the Matrix thing. Abuse. Yeah, crazy. Uh, Jonathan, I think that's because his hat can't come off. I think they sculpted it with his hat on. Mm. I haven't gotten one yet. I've only gotten Marion so far. But you guys are right. The face just doesn't look right on the indie. I'm not going for the six inch. I just can't buy them all. Yeah, I'm I'm actually pretty tight on money already. I don't know what the heck happens, but... They're not in sh okay. in short demand anyway. If you want to pick them up later, I don't think. Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen. You know, if I get any. Well, maybe it's hard to tell because you know they're releasing ten or twelve figures in the next couple months, and if they're anything like some of the Marvel series, is Target will get them, hold them for a month or two, and then clearance them all out and go away. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm kind of afraid. That I'm I'm buying everything as it comes out because I'm afraid if I don't. I'm going to get in the same situation I did with the last indie stuff. and um, They're all available over here, yeah. uh, Ghost. I, I, I wouldn't worry. I don't, I don't think they're going to make haven't, enough. We have make... almost none of them. In the eight targets I went to yesterday, I found one. And and uh, no Walmart has any Indiana Jones stuff yet. No, I haven't seen them at Walmart yet, no. So they may be coming, but they ain't here. Yeah. Um, They're just not a, sold out. They're just not a, sold out. A series. Star Trek Waypoint. I don't know what it is, but this cover is DS9. And then there's oh, an neat. Enterprise cover. Are those IDW? Uh, yes. Yeah. And then uh, Tholian Web, like track. Huh. Look at that. And uh, mm. then this, it's an alt cover for some issue. Oh, issue six. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. That's, That's cool. It's a cool illustration. So I, I have not been keeping up with Trek either. But, well, that's got one page is DS9 and one page is classic Trek. So... I bet it's a time thing. Like it's all through, like some the story is intermixed through all of time. So yeah. it's a way to do a crossover between all the different. Hmm. Yeah. Well, no, uh, no super spoilers or anything. But if anybody's watching Picard season three, it's basically almost all the treks rolled into one. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. I liked I liked who showed up, but not as who you think he is, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, some GI Joe. I, 
I really think we're going to see some Deep Space Nine people by the end of the Picard season three. I bet I bet Odo shows up at the end. Odo and, can't uh, show up. Rene Genois dead. Oh, really? The actor passed away? Yeah, he died a, a while ago now. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's too bad. I really liked him. He was a yeah, good he's actor. He's a great guy. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, look at that. G.I. Joe. Kronos. That's a cool. Good ones there. And I never read any of the Joes. I do own quite a few of them, but I never got into reading them. Hell, to be honest, I don't read 80% of the comics I buy. They come home, get put in binders, put, put in a box. I'm like, I'll get to that. And then I mm -hmm. never do. Mine tend to stack up and then I go, oh, I've got 10 issues of that to read. So I'll just sit down and yeah. go through all 10 and then move to like, you know, 10 issues of Avengers and then I'll move to... So I'm I'm never current, but I'll one day just catch up on one of the series and read like a whole chunk of them, you know? Mm -hmm. well, the, the ones I got from my comic book store for these Transformers, it looks like they've started putting them in like... Uh, set order. So, like, if there was a run, like, the Wreckers and stuff, these are um, Combiner Wars. But the funny thing about these is these are the comics that came out of the action figures. I was going to say, mm. they look like the ones that came out of the action figure ones. Yeah. yeah. Out of the, you know, so, they were, yeah, with with the action figure. I'm missing a couple of those. I, I didn't get did every... Superion. Yeah. And, and it's uh, it, it's a pain in the ass series because you have to open the comic book up to see which issue it is because they're not numbered on the outside. Yeah. So mm. in order to put them in order to read it, the story in order, you got to open each comic and look at the numbers and like put them in order. And it's like, oh, mm. jeez. <laughs> well, and you had to have bought the figure first. So these are, you know, these were almost twenty dollar comics just to start with. Yeah. Just because it was the only way to get this version of the cover. Yeah, exactly. I don't have every one of them, like I said, because I didn't buy every figure. There's a few I'm missing. I bought all the figures, but I also bought them because I love the, the uh, comic. But I don't have very many of these out of the box. Oh, you left them in the packaging, yeah. Because I was going to go back and rebuy them all so I can put them the combiners together again. But yeah. then in the end, I didn't. Because, you know, I wasn't going to buy another several hundred dollars worth of uh, stuff. Mm. Well, in some, what the other thing is, some of the comics in that Combiner Wars series didn't come with combiners. Some of them came well, with. They were, they're all combiners. Anything in the Combiners War is a combiner. It's just you you don't they're not a combaticon. Like there's a there's a cyclonus and stuff, and they're they're combiners as well. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not talking about those. I'm saying they're because I've got because I've got all the comics and like like the Star Scream in the Combiner Wars series does not combine with another figure, but he came with a combiner comic. Combiner Wars comic. Because I, I have it, yeah. And um there were other characters that did not combine. But they came with a Combiner Wars comic, and that's why I'm missing a number of them to make the story complete. I had to look up online. I was like, okay, I'm missing issue number 17. What character did it come with? Oh, it came with Blaster? I don't even remember Blaster coming out in the series. You know, mm -hmm. like, and I, so it was like there were all these obscure figures that, not that Blaster is obscure, but I mean, like, just figures you wouldn't think. Like you're saying, you, you thought it was just the combiners, but no. It's... Well, the packaging calls them all combiners. I know, like yeah. There's like some of the smaller ones turn into guns. Yeah. Like that for the, for the character. Like um, Shockwave turned into a gun, yeah. Yeah. Uh, here is um, Transformers versus Terminator. It's an alt cover. I don't, I don't have this one. That's cool. 
Oh, look at that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, a G1 Devastator. It would, it, it, if its stickers are all in good shape and it's not loose, um, long haul had a tendency to have loose legs. Um, I would say if it, if it's in package, you're looking at probably 300. Oh yeah. In the box. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, out of box. I'd say probably, I wouldn't pay more than a hundred. Yeah. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. It's a hundred dollar item. Um, each is, individual, uh, there's a lot of like, you can find individual figures for 10 to 20 bucks in, in, even with all their accessories in the twenty dollar range, they're yeah. for some reason they're super common. Like, well, they were the most produced. Yeah, of the combat of the uh, things. This is cover B of issue one. Wow. Well, cool. is that Ironhide's dead face there on the ground? Yeah, I, I wonder if <laughs> I need this. No, oh, yeah, I do kind of need it because that's not where the that's not where the things coming from let me see if i can see i'm so behind i don't even know who this red venom is this, there's a red a red mm. venom guy like who is yeah. this not, it's not carnage no it's a yeah. big guy yeah there we go that got rid of some of the glare yeah uh yeah ironhide and it uh, looks like Mirage is down there. Huh. And maybe even Slag off into the corner. Like, what's this deal with the new movie and uh, the um, jazz has now turned into Mirage? Like, what? I don't know. I, I <laughs> could not care less. I will not watch it. I, do I, not I, 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 I saw this picture and I'm going, have they even, has the, did the, did the makers of this movie even watch the old cartoon? Everyone knows well, the, the porch is, was jazz. It's still, it's still in the Michael Bay verse and in the Michael Bay verse, jazz is dead. Mm. Jazz died oh. in the second or third movie. But he shouldn't be a Porsche then. Everyone knows that Mirage is a Formula One car. Why does he have to be steal jazz's identity? Well, because then they can get uh, Porsche to make give them money. Yeah. This is uh, issue two, the second cover. Ooh, Ret uh, the RI covers. Those are retail incentives, right? Yeah. I don't have any of these. Ooh, those are cool. Yeah, yeah, the, cool. R, yeah the RI is retail incentive. Yeah, you're right. Cool. And then there's another one for the same issue with Megatron. Yeah. Now, Chip, my understanding is those retail incentives are like when the retailer buys, say, 50 copies, they get one of those in retail incentives. Is that true? or? Yeah, it's um, like something like that. Like it's yeah, an yeah, yeah. To buy, it's an incentive to buy a certain number of the of the issues to get one of these special ones, right? Yeah, like they have they obviously have the one in twenty five, one in ten, one in fifty, one in one hundreds. You know, as yeah. you buy more, you get the one of, and they yep. typically send. But they also will do a retailer incentive or a one per shop exclusive, where it's ah. just for just the shop itself. And if you order. If you if I ordered you know basically a bunch of a covers and I ordered twenty five of them they would kind of you know it's give you one of those retailer incentives as well. Gotcha. So, yep. Yeah, but they do have like the exclusive covers as well that are every once in a while they do that not as often as they used to. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember that Justice League thing for like when they were doing new 52 where that justice league one had 52 different covers. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. It, that I was like, could you imagine yeah. trying to get all of them? You know, cause yeah. certain comic store, like mile high comics got their own hey, cover you know. with, and they had mile high comics on it, you know, like a, the storefront, you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, it was like, if you, I mean, I assume they must've sold some of those online through mile high comics, but 
mm-hmm. you're technically you're supposed to be like going to the shop and buying them. Yeah, things. yeah. But it's like, oh. man, if you wanted to collect them all, you'd have to order I mean, was, every little shop that maybe you know. It's the thing. Way with the ASM seven ninety eight ninety nine and eight hundred was all three of those series. It was like so many covers of them. It was like they were going to the A B A A B A C A. You know, it was like craziness. Yeah. That the amount of. Uh, the variants that the company, the shops were out there making on these things. And they were just like, yeah, go for it. Make it, make it, make it. And getting everything yeah. approved. It was crazy. Became too much. That's for sure. See, and Jonathan, my comic book store is the opposite. They have a lot of people like me who collect variants. And so they love variant covers. Yeah. Yeah. They just get them all. Yeah. Yeah. And they get them all. So this is a series called Combiner Wars Windblade. Huh. I don't remember it. I don't know if I have that one. I don't remember mm-hmm. that. Issue three. Who is that? Windblade was the um the oh, that's... fan made the fan made transformer, wasn't she? I think so. All the fans voted on a design and then they named the character and I think Windblade was the one that won that contest and became a transformer because of the hmm. fan votes. Superion versus God knows how many people. <laughs> I do have to say that that IDW loved Superion. Oh yeah. They do. Oh wow, nice. There you go. That's cool, Dippity. Yeah. Gold key. I love old gold key comics. Yeah. I actually almost picked up a Green Hornet uh, um, model yesterday because, you know, Walmart had all those models this Christmas. They finally started marking them down. But they still wanted 20 yeah. for the Green Hornet. I know. I, I was upset at some of those Star Wars ones. There's a couple at my shop, at my Walmart, that are marked down. But they're yeah, they're marked down to like twenty or twenty-two dollars. I'm going, you're only taking like five bucks off the thing. Like, give me a break. Yeah. Yeah. This was a long mm-hmm. series. Yeah. Don't. Uh... And there's also, as usual, like four different covers. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, my comic book store is still, they will not release uh, DC and Marvel, but they have started carrying a ton of new independent stuff. Oh, I've got a casualty. You got a what? Mm. I got a casualty. Uh oh. Let's see. Casualty of stuff stacking. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Cover slipped off of, of Extreme X Men number two. Oh, it's just X Men. Don't worry about it. It's not that. Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> probably still on the shelf. I'll go yeah. to the, well. No, he'll no, he'll have another one at the it'll shop. Be a, it'll yeah. be a dollar bin. He'll be in a dollar bin if we get going on sale. Yeah. Well, realistically, I could probably just bring this in next time I come in and be like, Brian, I had a casualty, and he'll just be like, switch it out because yeah. they can send these bro- the, the damaged ones back to the distributor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of times he just says switch it out with something that we got, and then. Cool. Take care of it. I uh, my comic book store is running a, a con next weekend, and he says they're taking twenty five or thirty long boxes. Mm. They're going to be dollar a piece. Oh wow! I was yes. like, oh, he's like, oh, don't I worry, I'll make you a good those. deal. I was like, well, he said, ah, twelve for ten or something like that. Yeah, mm. tell me what you want. Mm. We'll create a long box for you. I love digging through those things. I just. Spend all of all day digging through. Yeah. Cause you never know. I mean, I I 
I run across good stuff once in a while in those kind of bins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One yeah. That, that, Cause the, cause the way, like, if you go into a normal comic book store that doesn't usually have dollar bins or those kind of things, like mm -hmm. every comic in the in the of the back issues will probably at least be three fifty four dollars or five dollars in their back yeah. issue bin. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you're trying to build, you like fill some holes, you're at least gonna spend between three and five dollars for those those back issue comics and even going back to where they were like 75 cents or a dollar you know cover price yeah they're still gonna be three fifty four or five dollars in the bin that's just the average price for a back issue comic yeah. and so if you happen upon stuff in those dollar bin boxes that are need to fill you know to fill your holes you're saving yourself three or four dollars, you know. Well, in my comic book store, they always put them in. They bag and board them. So for a dollar, for I mean, a bag and a board and a comic, <laughs> wow. you know, they're even putting that. boards. Well, I, I, that was the, the thing I love about Gold Key is they did all kinds yeah. of. I've, I've got. I just picked up some monkeys, uh, and Lancelot Link. If you remember that, I picked that up from Gold Key recently. Monkeys, <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> Series has got some nice covers. Transformers Escape. Ooh, Insecticons. Hmm. I got to get all my supply. I got all these supplies. We're, we're, we're going to be bagging now. Mm. So, got to see which sizes I need for which ones. And Very many issues that are, you know, like Insecticon focused. This is cool. I'd have to read this series. I've got a whole bunch of these IRI covers. These are great. I haven't seen these before. But in order to keep moving along, I'm not going to bag them right now. I'll put them back in the folder. This is a Star Trek The Next Generation. Ooh. It's called Terra Incognito. This is the photo cover. Cover B. Wow. <laughs> and of course, Riker's got his leg up. Hey, Wesley, mm -hmm. take a look at this. <laughs> Can I make you any more uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of a plain cover for uh, the B covers, but still. Um, you know, as far as Picard goes, uh, I know that Wesley's already been on this show, but that would have been an interesting way to uh, kind of wrap this up. But I don't know. I now I don't know if he'll come now. I. Yeah, I mean it's 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 an I interesting think this thing. Like too, the season's too heavy for him to show up in. Yeah, like what? It is something that's a little bit unresolved because, as far as we know, he's still his character is still with the the, the wanderer. What's the guy? The, the Watchers. Yeah, he showed up at the end of season two, and took that one girl away with him. Did he really show up at sea? I don't remember that. Yeah, he was at the end of season two. And he shows up and he's like, oh, he recruits that one girl from seasons one and two. 
This is a classic Trek series called The Burden of Knowledge. Great Ahura cover. And Scotty, oh, Andorians. Nice. And Gorns, jeez. Oh, I do have some of these. I recognize the title of these. This is a... Oh, yeah, Shattered, Shattered Glass. Glass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That blur? No, maybe. I've, I've, I've kind of slowed down. I, stopped, I went to only getting the main Transformers comic from now on, so I don't have all the Shattered Glass. I stopped at a certain point. Well, it doesn't have much long left. It's only got another couple months left. Then it's going back to Marvel. Is it really? Okay. Yeah, that and G.I. Joe and... Yeah, G.I. Joe just end, well, ended a little while ago. But yeah. With issue 300, I think it was. Wow, gold bug. Oh, yeah. Exactly, John. Speaking of, yeah. Speaking of. Hmm. Jeez. See, and that's what I want is I want Wesley to come back and say, You're not my brother, and then like rip his heart out or something. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Just, just destroy him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, somehow Wesley's become completely OP and just is like, you know, this continuity isn't big enough for the both of us. I think he's got Borg inside of him. Who I really? think some of, I think that uh, Jack Crusher, like, because he's Picard's son, Picard and Beverly, I think there's still Borg nano whatever's inside Picard, at least when he conceived the kid. Maybe not now because Picard got that new body, but yeah. when he conceived well, that his child... His eyes was glow totally... red. What? His eyes glow red. Yeah, yeah. Well, doesn't that mean he's possessed by the Pa Wraith? Oh, is it Pa Wraith stuff, you think? I don't know. The Pa Wraith, I think it's too yeah. late for the season to reintroduce the Pa Wraith, but... You know, I'm not a, I'm not a writer on Star Trek, so. Yeah, yeah. I would not be surprised if they bring back them. These are um, to, this is the series to all are one, which I, yep, I got that every one. cover for. Yeah, they did good stuff on that one. No, I hated it. I hate them all. <laughs> I don't like the art style. They're plain. They're generally one character just standing there. And it's a couple of them look nice, but to all are one are some of my the hated. I stopped buying this entire line, so this is probably great. I bet you I filled in a ton of holes. <laughs> this is going to be yet another project. I'm sorry. Yeah. Once I get all these looked through, then I need to go back through and grab all mine spread them out and see what I'm missing. Then I'll load them up and dump them on uh, on Brandon. I just box them up and send them to him for his comic endeavor, if he's still doing that. I, I thought so. I didn't, I didn't hear. Well, he was doing so well on that, on that, whatever that site was called. What not? Uh, yeah, what not? Well, what not has become a double-edged sword kind of thing, I think, for sellers, because the 
people who are buying off of whatnot, they want a deal. So anyone who sells stuff and they try to start their sell their sales at a reasonable price, they don't sell yeah. anything. The end of the auction, like one thing might have sold, you know what I mean? And because oh. everyone's trying to find those deals that they were getting early on when that thing started and now because I know a number of people locally and things that they use, they were selling on whatnot like every week and now they're like I'm done with it. it I'm just it's not worth my time and effort because I don't I'm you know they're like I'm barely making what I paid for the items because people oh. don't want to pay what they're worth they want to pay pennies for on the dollar you know and so they're kind of like I can go to eBay and Mercari and get what they're worth, you know. And yeah, I can see it, that. It just takes a week instead of, you know. Jeez. Okay, guys, you didn't need to take this thing shot. Did we completely lose Rom, or did he say he was going somewhere? I thought he was still down there, but just not on camera. Oh, okay. Last time I saw, he started playing with a knife, and then he was gone. So, Bob's uh, just <laughs> yeah. Bob, Bob's resting his eyes, but he's listening intently. And... Hmm. This is um, Beast Wars. Which, of course, is basically the premise for the next movie. But this is a continuation of the cartoon series. Yeah. I stopped that one, too, after a little while. I never was a big Beast Wars fan, so... I think they could go back, and I think this is the same way for, like, reboot and stuff. They should take the voice tracks and all that stuff... And just redo all the CG. Oh yeah, that, I could see them. Yeah, I could see doing that with a number of cartoons and properties. That would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, you could take Gen One and do that. Yeah. And I think kids would watch it. Oh, there would be a number of people who would be so complaining about that stuff, though. Yeah, but you could do things like you know fix the colors. Yeah, the, the colors are, always like, change. Five thundercrackers standing like behind that, somebody. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know this comic went on this long. I bought the first few issues and then I kind of faded out of it. Ooh, Quintessons. Or even in some, like you're watching the scene and Starscream will blink blue instead of what, you know, it'll. Like, yeah, it's like for, for five <laughs> cells, he's a completely different color. Yeah, even though he's and it's the same dialogue, you know, he's talking. It's just like, why he just changed? Like, what happened there? And I get that. I mean, you have five planes that are the same, basically look identical. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, you have Cliff Jumper and and Bumblebee and. Another track. Boy, they know what I like. They dumped a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. <clears throat> Have you ever played the Haunted Mansion board game? I saw that game at the Walmart. No, I own uh, five copies of it, but I haven't actually played it. I saw one the other day at Walmart, and it was marked down. I mean, it, again, it was marked down like five bucks. It was like still a twenty dollars game. But I thought I should. I was like, I wonder if I should get this and work out a way that we could set up a camera and play <laughs> with Chris and everybody. You know, like <laughs> like set up an above view camera or whatever, and we can move the pieces around it and play the game. Oh, now this series, I'm actually going to open one of these. I love this series. This series was made by 
DW. Which oh, are yeah, the game. DW stuff, yeah. But these are called More Than Meets the Eye. And what it is, is it's a completely redo of the Transformers universe that Marvel Oh, did. yeah. So it's every character through Beast Like War, a bio, Anna. yeah. They don't do those bio... They don't do those bio comics anymore that much, you know. Yeah, uh -huh. I remember having those for GI Joe and the old the old ones. Like there was well, a remember that Marvel used to do like Book of the Dead. They'd even cover yeah. people who aren't even in the damn comics anymore. They were great. I love these, and I do I do have them all, but it's nice to have another copy. get in there and so they all go in alphabetical order so this is you know superion and uh that kind of stuff and they i like that they did all the micro uh yeah and don't the covers connect like from one? So. no because they're completely different things the predi kings Metroplex, Omega Supreme, Optimus Prime, Shockwave. Yeah, that's cool. There. Ratbat, Ratchet. I love this. I, I be cool. Oh, there's uh, Skylinks and Starscream, Thundercracker. Guy links, yeah, he's quite a character. I loved when they tried to move him into G1 and they had no clue what to do with that thing. That's a cool series. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> ah, early IDW. Oh, yeah. Before the logo change, yeah. yeah. I think that was back when uh, Thundercracker was an author for romance novels and had a pet dog. Yes. Wow, this is issue one. Cool. Oh, Infiltration. The Infiltration miniseries. Yeah, there was a number of miniseries before they went on with the ongoing... Yeah. Well, did you buy any of the... Um, and they actually continued them online. The um, When they continued the Marvel line? And uh, Yes, yeah, yeah. Those were great because they went back to the original writers and was like, hey, what were you going to do? And they got them to come back and some of the original art guys. Yeah. Okay, so those are infiltrations. So those need to stay together. Okay. <clears throat> wow. The War Within it says DW. Oh yeah, what did DW stand for? DreamWorks. DreamWorks, right? Yeah, that's right. I think so. Was Transformers with DDP before DW, and then? I think so. Same with G.I. Joe. I know that G.I. Joe was with DDP. I think all those licenses just kind of slid around from one spot to the next because Marvel was like, oh, they can't sell, but we're going to do these eight stupid comics. Those are cool. Oh, my God. This is going to be a mess when I get to this. I have, I have two... Four foot tables out now, but I'm gonna to have to get some of my six foot tables out in order to separate these properly. Uh, oh. 
Hmm. And here's some I don't, this is definitely don't need, but I have now to Revenge of the Fallen. Michael Bay verse. Oh, look, we're not racist. Yes, you are. <laughs> See, actually, that's a nice, co a nice cover. And John met Bumblebee. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not as talky as you'd think. But then, you know, that, ne that next day after that, I went down and uh, met Prime and uh, Megatron. Oh, they were out, yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, <clears throat> and some of the other pictures that we just didn't get back were yeah. the SpongeBob and Captain America. Oh, wow. Those didn't get sent over either. So I'm kind of disappointed about that. Because <laughs> Cap was very cool. Yeah, he, he 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 talked to us about comic. Like he was a, he seemed like he was an actual comic fan, you know. Yeah. Which for how would that be being a comic book geek or something? Then you get to be Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Some more DW. See, John, these, some of these start connecting together. Gotcha. Some of the early issues. I know they used to like doing that with the, with DW and DDP and stuff. They would try to connect them together. Yeah. I just didn't know which ones did and which ones didn't. Well, when they did Ghostbusters... Transformers meets Ghostbusters thing, those they had like six issues that connected into this big mural. It was cool. Yeah. I thought sometimes about it. When I, put together. Sometimes when I see those things, I, I think like, oh, I'm gonna frame these and put them all next to each other so that you can see the big picture, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I never do, you know, it's like oh. you never All right, Transformers and my little, my pony. little pony. Oh, my lord, Magic of Cybertron! My little Transformers, yeah, yeah. That was a, it was a very interesting comic. I did actually read them, and uh, it was they were weird. Because you really did get like the Decepticons being nicer than usual, and Starscream, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not playing with my little ponies again. So that's Magic of Cybertron. Here's Friendship in Disguise. <laughs> Friendship in Disguise. I like it. Oh, here's another magic of Cybertron. More than meets the eye. <laughs> People gave me crap when I bought these. I was like, are you kidding? That's hilarious. Why would I not buy it? I have, you know, Star Trek, you know, meets uh, Planet of the Apes. Why would I not have My Little Pony and Transformers? <laughs> I don't even remember that. I would have got it. kind of don't know how I didn't get those, you know? Yeah. My comic book store wasn't even going to carry them. And I convinced him to carry at least 10 issues of the first one. They sold out that new new Wednesday. He was like, damn it, now I have to reorder them. And then they ordered like 20. Damn it. Yeah, he's like, damn it. You know? yeah. yeah, he was so mad that they sold. Ha ha. Here's a whole other, is this the same run? 
Oh, no, this is Road to Revolution, which is the one where they combine the Micronauts and, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. and Transformers all together. Yeah. I liked the mask ones that crossed over. I thought that was fun. Yeah. And and that dude, see, John, who's that? Rom. Rom, that's right. Rom, Rom the Space Knight. Space Knight yeah. Mm. Not Rom. You can go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they do a Ghostbuster one too? Like a Ghostbuster? Oh yeah, Ghostbusters Transformers was awesome. Yeah, so it was right? back to the future Transformers. Yeah, yeah. Like the comics. I mean, yeah, they did the Oh yeah, I'd love to I didn't get a whole bunch of those. I've I have a few issues. Maybe I'll have them keep an eye out for me for those. Kip, have you noticed a thing where, like, if you buy, you know, current comic book bags, right? Yeah. And you buy the current uh, backer boards, even from the same company? Yeah. The board will fit in the bag, but then you can't put the comic in there. Yeah, it's because tight. The comic is too thick. Yeah, I, uh, I've been putting the yeah. comic on the card and then trying to slide them in. That's about the best yeah. way I can do it. Because what? Yeah. If it's too tight, what happens is you can sometimes warp the comic. You know what I mean? Like yeah. twist mm -hmm. it and warp it. So I've been putting them in the in the regular size ones. You know, in the larger like like a Silver Age bag. Yeah, yeah. With a board because they're um yeah it's just. I don't know what happened to the comics, but they've changed so that now modern sized bags don't work anymore. Here is uh, Back to the Future. Bumble oh, there you go. That's just what we were talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, but the figure. Yeah. I had to pick him up, he was cool. I got rid of the figure because I didn't like how he looked in robot mode. <laughs> I just I bought I two. He's, I've got a robot mode of him around here somewhere, and then I just I kept couldn't stand it. So I got rid of I got rid of him. I got rid of the X Men one, the X Jet, because again I didn't like the robot mode, and I was like I just. And then I said I'm done with these crossover ones because I didn't. I the only one that we, I thought was good was the Ghostbuster one. Yeah, I've got both the Ghostbuster ones. He looked good in robot mode, but that was the only one I thought that did. Oh, couldn't you break? Stupid hot oh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that dark mm -hmm. ball. Mm -hmm. oh. John Jang. Autograph? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Nice cover. I'm, I'm going through and I'm CLZing all of my com my Star Wars comic that I haven't put in the CLZ app yet. Oh, son of a... What do you that. mean? What is that? CLZ? Yeah. It's, um, it's an app for cataloging all your comics. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the so. horrible thing about IDW is uh they put their U it's upc codes on the back yeah so, like, i have all these boarded comics and now i'd have to take them all out of the bag yeah in order to get them there yeah marvel does the same thing on some of these like this cover here doesn't have a yeah you know some of these covers don't have it on the front so you have to pull them out and uh, the oh cool i got another set of the more than meets the eye Nice. I got one in here. 
Yeah, Dippity, I, I have the same problem. I have some comics that just, they, they aren't quite gold and they're not quite silver. They're a weird size. And I gotta, it's hard to find holders for them sometimes. But I have a friend who does nothing like Golden Age and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. he, uh, he'll tell me. Oh, there's friendship in disguise. I could have pulled all these retail exclusives out of this box and sold them. So they're giving Where you did you like 50 cents a piece. You bought like a long box? I bought a long box and a, and a magazine box full. It's about 300 comics, and I got them for uh, 150 Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, all these comics I got for, and they all came in the same box. Oh, that's wow. awesome. I, I like going over there when they buy large lots of stuff because I love them to death. But some of the guys are incredibly lazy. Mm. So they'll be like, ah, I just, I don't want to price all these. Uh, just a hundred bucks for the whole box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got a blank one. That's nice. No doubt. Get this drawn on. Yep. Of course, it's. Transformers Drift, so I'm not going to ever do anything with it. Yeah. You could have someone do a Transformer. It doesn't have to be... True, but shouldn't it be the people who worked on the book? Uh, well, yeah, you probably... That in reality. But I have, a, I have a lot of comics where... Yes, you do. Get rid of them. Yeah, it's my wife. He's yelling, yes, you do. Get rid of them. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm okay, hon. Thank you. They're the I, I, environment. Yes. But I have a lot of them that are actually are like artists will come in and actually take the you know the cover, the blank cover, and make their own rendition of the cover. Yeah. You know? I have some I have some Star Wars ones like that. Yeah. Mrs. Chip! Mrs. Chip, he was saying rude stuff earlier. He was being rude. He was saying rude stuff, Mrs. Chip. It's a good thing she can't hear your ass, the rum, telling lies like that about me. Put him in a naughty corner. Mrs. Chip, he was being naughty. He's saying I was saying naughty things about Wow, rum, that's that's great. Taking away from 4,000. Man, it's gonna take me another year or so to get to that point. Now I am. Now I'm Yeah, he's now done gone and left me in the dust. <laughs> I like when Chip says naughty things to me. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I married her. <laughs> Spanky times with Mr. and Mrs. Chip. Yes. Go back to sleep, damn it, Rum. <laughs> What, so, Ron, you said you trouble? had some stuff. What all? What would you? What you grab recently? Or are you not ready to do that anymore? Are you tired? I've got a few. Yeah, I've got. A, I've got a selection of things you can pick if you want. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Man. Oh, I've cool. either got. I've either got for you. Well, I can do multiple, but I've either got something direct from Mattel. Uh -huh. Um, something direct from a Hasbro. So, but so. An exclusive from Hasbro and an exclusive from Mattel. Or I've got the GoBot Command Center, which I still haven't unboxed. Oh, or, nice. speaking of Transformers, or speaking of Transformers, I have the Titan Arc, which I still haven't unboxed. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So you got to start with, the, since we always do Hasbro, go start with Mattel. Mattel. Okay. Move my camera. In fact, I'll do a little. Uh, I'll use that one. 
it just says so uh, Jurassic plug, Park. We're over on uh, uh, Twitch as well as, as Facebook and uh, YouTube. There we go. How about that? Is now, it Jurassic? Uh, is it Jurassic Park? Is it wrestling, or is it Masters of the Universe? Do you want me to tell you? No. Okay. How do I use this? Okay, so turn it the other way and don't stab your hand. There you go. Well, that way. Oh, and then, yes, oh, and then push Lord. up on the black. Which way does the knife come out? Up. Don't point it at your face. What, what so do you mean? Push, push down on the black bit with your thumb and push it up. Oh, this is confusing. Not that no. way. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh, the other way. Cool. Right <laughs> Yes. Well, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> foolish mortal. Oh, he's gonna chop his hand off. There. Mm -hmm. you know, now oh, we're not gonna fight it back in. What have you sent me? This is a lethal weapon. I'm gonna just use this. Yeah, what were you thinking, Chris? Look, it's yeah. supposed to be safe. <laughs> oh, God. You're the only one that can get your finger chopped <laughs> off by a safety knife. Bye. <laughs> Best safety well, net for Robert. Is no knife at all. He doesn't hold it right. Oh, it's sharp, isn't it? It's like, yes. like, it's like a razor blade. blade. Like, it's like <laughs> it's kind of like a knife. <laughs> Just the top of it cuts it. To be honest, this is Hasbro. You want him to do, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you want to do? No, 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 no. We're doing Mattel. I thought we were doing Mattel. Mattel, it's in Mattel. It, it is Mattel. hard to do one-handed, so I'll this give you Mattel. that. This is Mattel. Okay. Nice. Okay. Ooh. What is it? Ooh. One from Here's one book. paper. To another box. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is in this box? Uh, another opportunity. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh cool! I like the box. Oh, that's a cool box. I don't oh, so it it's it's Masters of the Universe, huh? Yeah, it's Masters Frog Dude. Okay, let's open him up. Is his name Frogor? <laughs> Frogor. <laughs> oh god what the hell yeah, wooden spoon might give him room. splinters what the hell sharper than a wooden oh, Lord, spoon you have to the drink no 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 that's the dull side room turn it over pointy <laughs> pointy Thank bit you. it's complicated <laughs> Complicated. Those drawings. Ah. Cool. He looks good. Frog manga. <laughs> cool. I don't even remember cool. seeing this one go up. That was pretty yeah. neat. It went on. Cool it, was, it was one of those where it was on their website, and you had to order it straight away, or it sold out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was direct from Mattel Creations, and it was on for about half hour, and then they sold out. Mm. He's a cool looking guy. Dungeon I don't know if anybody Dungeon else knows Dwell. Dwell. Target, but uh, oh, yeah. Target got rid of 50% of the master section and turned it into inter Indiana Jones and Turtles. Dungeon Dweller. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be stopped. The rumor is they're going to move to online only. For I mean, it's a rumor, but he's cool, isn't he? Very cool. Yeah. The head's kind of weird looking, but Yeah, it looks like he's nice got a nice some nice rashes there, some kind of herpes. Yeah. Bring through him. He's got his bondage neck piece on. Oh that looks incredible. Oh wow, nice. Oh, that looks really nice. Who's the monkey? Yeah, look at the monkey. A monkey. Oh, it's a cool. monkey in the skeleton. I do not want whatever that pink thing is in the back. Look at that thing. 
Jesus. Live it out. That's uh wow. So that's cool. So I'm still collecting the origins. I still um not I would collect some of them if they were ever in stores, but I don't ever see these in stores anymore. They don't, yeah. These ones, like I say, some of them just go direct to creation. So uh, what else did I get from direct? Grizzlaw is not coming to, sh to shelves. That was direct. I managed yeah. to tag one of those. Um, I've got digi uh, Digital. And so it's all the Snake Men stuff coming out now. So, cool. And I did um, delve into... I have got. I did back Eternia. Yeah, so that was um, a moment. Of, a moment of weakness. Okay, uh, get your next box ready, Chip. You had another thing in. Oh, actually, yeah, it just got delivered. <laughs> Literally, the the wife just uh, brought it over. So. Ah, I'm surprised she didn't hit you with it. Yes, no, not at all. Yes, so we got to get rum one of these here. This uh, little white shadow Smart. knife. Nice. Oh no! Don't give that. No, no, he can't have. We need that. rum to get one of those. We need rum with those. I'll work on it for you, buddy. Like uh, <laughs> Luke was handed the lightsaber and immediately looked in the in the. What's in this? <laughs> yeah. I do know what this is. It isn't a. Uh, any piece of toy or anything, but it's a piece of art. Ooh. A print. A print of an art piece of art. Nice. So is it safe for YouTube? I'll I'll verify because this artist is kind of on the <laughs> naughty side. He does a lot of uh naughty. Yeah, yeah. He's but this one is, yeah, this one is safe for her. The, did you, the, did you pose, was it, were you, pose, did you, were you like the muse? Yeah, no, not Make at it. all, not at all. Nippity, we're, we're all doing that because we've all figured out that like Target doesn't keep stuff on shelves long. So it's yeah. almost easier just to play the long game and, yep. and wait a month. Dippity. All the Avatar stuff's on clearance. Dip, dippity yeah. do, dip, oh God, ooh. Oh, wow. That's, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. By an artist called uh, Jay Ferguson. So, yeah. He does a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, Lady Death Watch. Um, I, forgot, I forgot what the name of the other lady is. That, uh, who's the lady? The vampire lady with the... Vampirella? Vampirella. Vampirella, yeah. Thank you. Gosh. He does Vampirella. a lot of Vampirella stuff, but his, his uh, artwork is you know, pretty realistic, and he's really good artist. So, he was in a stream the other day. I was in with a guy that I buy my comics from, and uh, economics and comics, and it was cool. So, I ended up picking that up. Very oh, nice. All right, Ron, what we got here? Uh, Dippity do, please go and subscribe to the Slash's Room channel. Don't do it. I don't know don't do it, do. Dippity do. Before I do this, it. before I do this, I check this out. I don't know if I showed you these. These are trapdoor figures. Oh yeah, I saw your Instagram on those. From Nema Studios, which is a UK independent toy maker. This is an, a, a UK cartoon. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. yeah. Look. Very cool. And then he's done a load of these. And then these are some of the little uh it's don't look under that trap door. So that there. was a that was a UK cartoon. Yeah, uh, it's kind of. Well, now I remember that it was, a, it was kind of a little strange show. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I remember them. I I saw it somewhere when I was younger. And he's also making some Count Ducula figures. Oh, which is another, which is oh yeah. Movie. Let me know. You want I some Count Ducula figures? Okay, some Count Ducula figures. There you go. Look at that. So there you go. They're cool, aren't they? Very cool. I, I would be completely into Count Docula figures. Okay, cool. Well, that's I bought, good. Those, I bought some good. of what I could find of the, Finding the stuff new, uh, is very difficult. So Danger good. Mouse stuff that came out for the new cartoon. Yeah, you yeah, got the Danger, Danger Mouse, Mouse. car, haven't you? Yeah. 
want to cover that. That's a dangerous car. So anyway, they're cool, aren't they? They're cool. Let's put them back over there. And let's put book. Victory Saber. I love this Victory Saber. I can't wait for the Deathosaur. Yeah. Right, this is Hasbro then. And it's in a it's in a um it's in a Hasbro box, but it's slightly larger. So what's this thing, do you think? What we think this is? two figures in there. What we think this is. So is it Marvel or Star Wars? That's the question. Or G.I. Joe classified. It, that's it, that's big enough to be a Marvel two pack. Or is it Snake Eyes and Timber? That you can now get for twenty dollars at Target. Yeah, yeah, they're on clearance. Yep. Are you ready? Not Duke, because Duke was seventeen bucks. I was like, well, heck yeah. You ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's the. It's the uh, is it Forlom and Zuckus or Bosk and IG and Eight? No. Oh, oh, what? Oh, look at that. Nice. What? We didn't get those yeah. here. Yeah, they're a uh, they're an Amazon exclusive. Uh, you did get them there because guess where I got this from? Amazon.com. I had this imported because that's the only way I could get it. There, it's like sixty bucks though. It's a it's a two pack. Yeah. And it's like, well, they, they're, they're six colored. inch, they're, yeah, six inch, and they're like, yeah, they're like carbonized, carbonized, and they've got colored backs. Yeah, how did anyone's jumped on these? They were on Amazon.com. I think they saw, I don't know if they're still on, but um, I think this is a sweet pack, man. It yeah. looks the I love those royal guards, yeah. Look at that. I've always loved the uh, the um, uh, pilot, yeah, the toy pilot. Dippity, I would have said, you know, for an extra autograph, Mr. Dreyfus, you can have it. So there you go. Nice. Oh, uh, shall I take them out? If you want to, yeah. Got it, haven't I? Got to. Pardon, me. Pardon me while I whip this out. Exactly. Yeah. I've, uh, I've actually taken extra things sometimes, like uh, Zachary Levi, when I had him sign some stuff for, for Shazam, they had, the toys had just hit, and I took a figure and a couple Hot Wheels, and he hadn't seen those yet. He's like, oh, these are awesome. I said, no, you can have them. He's like, oh, really? Cool. That's cool. I said, don't they send this stuff to you? He said, no, my face just appears on things, and I never get to have any. Yeah. <laughs> You, you you actually have to ask and put it in your claws. Like I remember yeah. Mark Hamill I remember Mark Hamill talking about it, how he would put it in the contract when he does a movie that anything that's produced with his likeness on it, he gets one copy of it. Oh this box. Oh. Oh. What's the back of the pack look like? Oh. 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 Turn it around. I want to see the back. Box okay. man. Oh, cool. Oh, they're kind of generic backs. Yeah, yeah. generic. Very generic. Very generic. A bit disappointing on like, on the back. That one's better. Yeah. yeah, that that one's better. Better. yeah. Well, that Tie Fighter pilot's always been a horrible card back. It's not like they didn't have pictures of it. Yeah, he walked down the corridor. It's just there wasn't really a good picture in Empire. But out of the two, out of the two, that's the the worst one's carbonized because it's got soft goods. Look. Yeah. Well, Did they soft. carbonize the soft goods? Yeah, they well, you can't really, can you? Yeah. Whereas yeah. this one, look at that. That one's got the blue highlights on it. I do like that one. That's yeah. Cool. That one's cool. Oh, this box. There you go. Cool. All right, get your next box ready. 
It says Transformers 84. I really loved this series. This was a great series. Don't go home to that trap door. They have some of the those uh, Marvel continue on stories in here eventually. I've still caught. I'm, I haven't even touched the long box yet. I'm still just in the short little magazine box. Wow. And really what this series was all about was reprinting some of the uh, reprinting and expanding on the Euro and the European Marvel comic. Yeah, I was gonna say weren't they European? Yeah, that Simon Fuller and them did. Let me know when you're ready, Rum. Ghostbusters. Let's see. I'll um, we'll keep that out. Yeah, and there's the Transformers Ghostbusters. Yep. We talked about, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, that is. <laughs> I love how the ghost of Starscream was the protagonist of the sh of the. <laughs> Starscream's ghost, yeah. Can you imagine if they tried to do something like that today, and the internet would go insane? You can't have robots; don't have souls. They can't be ghosts. <laughs> you stupid. Mm -hmm. Somebody's just taking slaves up to three nine eight five. So thank you, thank you. And then let's see how this. I think I need to talk more about the next goal. I don't even. I never ask people to subscribe during during my videos. I don't. Honestly, I, don't do I don't do that either. I, to be totally honest, John, I, like when I took a break and I was just doing shorts, I saw the greatest number of subscriber gains. Yeah. Oh, did you? It was bizarre. Like, no. I don't know. Work that out. That goes there. That goes there. Where's Cat when you need her for a puzzle? <laughs> no. I don't know if I can join your stream, Kat. I'm having problems with a five piece puzzle here. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Yeah, yeah that's right. There's there I think there's there you I go. Think there a six issue comic, so I'm just missing one. Mm -hmm. cool. this chip, he wants to get the ointment out. Yeah. She's busy. <laughs> She's like, ah, hey, you're playing with your comics. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, Rummy. Let's see what's fragile. Okay. I'll have to bear with me a little bit on this one. There's a lot of tape. If we see a mist of red, we'll know what happened. Yeah. This has been sat for ages. Okay. Oh, this is sharp. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. Right. This is such an awesome playset. I love it. It looks like you got a nice one, too. Look at those stickers. Yeah, I mean, look at the condition of those stickers. Well, I hope the legs work because that's the kicker. It's, it walks, doesn't it? You put a battery off, in it, right? Off, yeah. 
often the leg the legs are often broken uh is one of the common issues with them what's this from go this is the go box go okay this is the go box there's a couple of play sets go bots this is called the command center it walks like a like an ad at in a way but then it also yeah. has um it'll transform into a, a spit like a station like a play set like it all okay. opens up and stands up you know yeah so stickers on this side are good yeah they look pretty good they look good it needs a bit of a clean but uh, not bad so far. This is one of those because I I've got I love the go I've got quite a few GoBots. I love the GoBots. This is one that's been on my list for ages. This is often missing. Uh, if you if you buy them new, so look out for that. This. Uh... Yeah, this is at the bottom and at the top. So you gotta stickers on this side look alright as well. Yeah, that's, that's this is often snap the bit that holds it together as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm terrible at uh, let's see if I can navigate this without breaking it right. So that just pushes down. Oh, that <laughs> sound didn't sound too good. Wow, look at that interior. Tell you what, pretty what clean. All the stickers are it's supposed to stand up, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. All the stickers are there. Oh no. Huh. All right. Because those are the floors. Like that floor should snap in over there, and transportation chamber. Yeah, and that's the little elevator. There you go. Yep. So there we go. This comes off. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That comes off. And that's his. That's his face. He's a robot as well, you see. There's the detention center. I'll put the floors in in a minute. Interrogation center. It's a pretty silly, like, it doesn't, the play features, all it's got really is a lift. Yeah. Uh, that's about it. And then you can put your robots on, like, it's not particularly, you know, but it's just an iconic look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's... Well, I like when it's in walker mode. I'm, I, I really like the... Okay, I'll do that in a second then. Let's get this. Hey, G, I think he has a whole wing to himself now. <laughs> <laughs> he had to buy his own storage. I'm uh, telling you. Yeah. Company? Yeah, he's got a company. He's got his whole company now. <laughs> you know. Oh, I've done that wrong. Well, I haven't... No, look. Look right to me. And then, oh, I can't, I can't remember where that goes. I mean, this was basically played with a couple of times and then put away. There's no way these stickers are this meant with any kid playing with it. Yeah. Oh, it's missing. Off the mark at all. It's missing. A little bit this one. We played games together. So it's how missing a four. Well, he got the treatment yesterday, so he, he thinks that he feels sick from getting treatment. He's going to the oh, bathroom. Mark. Yeah. yeah. I was supposed to do stuff yeah, with him yesterday. Yeah, sick for some reason. He, uh, That's what he, he got said his treatment Wednesday and didn't feel good. That's how his white blood cells means he might have an infection. I don't know. The doctor he has... wasn't... He said the doctor was not concerned. Or a fever. But he doesn't have one now. It wouldn't it wouldn't just go away instantly. He it, it was sick because of having to do stuff the last few days. Oh no, there's the head. Look, there's the head. Sorry. There's his head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it is. So how do these come out? I might have to look this up on YouTube. Oh, oh, no, they... Yeah, they just—they should just pop out and come down, right? They slide towards you and then down. 
slide them out and then twist them? Yeah, they pop out, I think, and then go down. You got one of them. I think you need to be 12 in order to figure out how to use it. From yeah, exactly. a little bit forceful. <laughs> yeah. And they should, doesn't it walk? Like, doesn't it, isn't there a battery thing for it to move it, on its own? It doesn't actually walk. It just lights up and makes a sound. Oh, okay. It's just lights and sound. Okay. Nice. But yeah, it's got oh. that vibe to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I like it like that, and I put that's how I would display it. Yeah, with all the GoBots lined up in front of it, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so built to yeah, last. That's another. That's another um, I'm sort of collecting play sets. There's another Grail one. I've got. The Karate Kid playset. I've got Ghostbusters. I've got He Man. Quite a few of the Star Wars ones. What else? Boulder Hill. I'm after Boulder Hill. Um, oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a hard one to get. Oh, I've got the uh, Hall of Justice, obviously. Yep. Yeah, Tower that's of, a good one. I remember Tower that. of Doom. Is, Tower of Doom is on my list. Um, Did you read this series, Chip? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The, the yep, the really short. good. Is yeah, that it is, good? It is real good. Yeah, that's a good. Oh my gosh, thing. this is so good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I did actually get some of the uh, generations. Oh, cool. I love these. They again reprinted a lot of the European stories. The Dark Ages, Buster Witwicky, and the Car Wash of Doom. <laughs> the Car Wash of Doom, yeah. Uh, great episode. Written in that Raiders of the Lost Ark font. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Rat Bat, I, it's an old Marvel issue, and I just don't remember why Rat Bat really was interested in car washes. But you know, <laughs> as they do. Ah, the back tape, the back door is snapped. So that is oh, no. one. This is mm. snapped. Yeah, so that's one problem with it, but never mind. And you just put a little piece of tape on top. I didn't. I did get this cheap, so it's one of my rules for secondhand stuff. Is I always eBaying. I always I, I I won't get it unless I can get it for a bargain. Yeah. 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 It won't stay up there. No, but never Bounce. mind. Never mind. Maybe you can just find that one part, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's really nice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I gotta read this next now. Look, I got all the World Breaker ones. So, oh, uh, yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. That was a good one. Not bad. I had a whole World Breaker. Perfect. Yeah. Funny enough, I got Hulk. Did you see this oh. one, John? Oh yeah! Look at that. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. look at that. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that, but um, I'm going to now have to tell my comic book store to watch for every one of those covers. Yeah. yeah the, the what if? What if Disney's? Yeah. Disney That's cool. Look at Mickey and Minnie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that <is right> now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Donald. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Hey, it looks like uh, uh, Marvel is doing Disney covers of assorted. Things there's one already out for Hulk. Make mm -hmm. sure you pull each of those aside for me, please. Thank you. And it's done. 
There you go. I ended up getting this as well. This is, I don't know if you guys have read or John, I don't know if you have, 8 Billion Genies. If you haven't, it's a good read. But I uh, ended up getting this, and the guy who made this did a remark on it. And that's the remark, the actual genie. Yeah, Brand Flakes Art is the name of the gentleman. Wow. He designed the cover, and then he actually did a remark of that. So it's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. Jazzed it up a little bit with a Robin Williams theme to it. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So. I bet you've got lots of artwork rolled up that you haven't got space to put on the wall of it in your chip. I do. I do. Unfortunately, yeah, I've got a lot of different pieces everywhere, and there's like no room anywhere. Yeah, I was just I just bought that piece and I'm like, where the hell am I gonna put it now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like god damn it. <laughs> I know I've got uh six or seven hundred movie posters and what? I have nowhere to put any what? of them. Why mm -hmm. am I not surprised? What oh man, but you I, I had a friend who worked at a theater, and so anytime anything would come by, he'd be like, hey, Do you want this? Wow. He still he just asked me the yesterday, he was like, Hey, we got this. D and D dice popcorn thing. Do you want that? I was like, No, yeah. I don't need a popcorn holder. Thank you. Yeah. Now I've seen it, and I'm like, Man, maybe. Yeah. Because <laughs> one guy I saw on Instagram, he all he did was he put all his dice in it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't wrap that. I would. Hey, this is could show you something else I picked up. This mm. is Chip wants Chip's body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, cool. Cinnamon. Cinnamon oh, Toast that. Crunch. Amazing fantasy. That's cool. Is that out now or is that? Yeah. What? Yeah, I think you need to go everywhere looking for that. Where'd you buy it? Walmart or? Walmart. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I gotta... Yeah. Is that neat? That's neat. Now, are they doing a different box for different cereals or is that like going to be I, a. I think, I think that's just a one time deal. I don't know. Not like a General Mills, like each cereal is going to have a different comic cover. Yeah, I don't now think I so. Have to go but... to Walmart today. <laughs> Never love them. Yeah. Well, you cool. notice they can't just make normal size boxes. It has to be these giant family size boxes. Yeah, <laughs> this thing is huge. Are there really only like two thousand of them? Yeah, there's. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, there is only. There oh, is only oh, nineteen hundred and sixty-two. There's only 1,962 of these, so. Well, then they're never going to show up down here. Yeah, yeah they'll be. So. If you see them, Chip, again, please pick one up. I will. For yeah, I'll pick one up. I'll pick one up. Because I know me. I'll never see them. The scalpers will get them. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit of, little bit of damage on the side, obviously, because it's like a cereal box, so you can't see yeah. it. Yeah. Right, uh, you can't even that. really tell from us. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of damage, but eh, it, it's just hanging out here. It's like waiting for the mice to come take over to taste, start stealing the cereal out of it. Well, the price is <laughs> if it's a normal size box, I have there, there make cases for them, not cases, but little plastic things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not for that size. I've got a couple yeah, of Bronco Super Bowl like, ones that are like, God damn, I can't find them. Yeah, it looks a little taller than a store in standard cereal box. Yeah. Down. All right, Ron, what else you got? Oh, uh, well, I have got, I've, well, I've, I've got um, a Transformers Titan arc, which is massive, yeah. which, which might be a bit of a mission, but I can unbox it. I've got the, Sky, the HasLab Sky Striker, which I haven't unboxed. I do have a piece of art, actually, as well, which, I, which is rolled up. Packs from America, which I haven't unopened yet, uh, which I do. Um, and it's a piece of art um, that um, is a is a um, kind of picture of all of the famous bootlegger toy makers um, all like lined up together, which is pretty cool. Um, so there you go. You got you got a choice. I should pull your art. Out. What was the first one again? The Titan, the Ark. <laughs> the Ark Titan is it's huge. It's huge. I've got the Haslap Sky Striker. I've actually got um, the. I've actually got the Razor Crest that I've not unboxed yet. 
But I'm going to struggle for space. Um, I'll grow a piece of artwork that I can unbox. It's up to you. I'll I'll do whatever. Mm. I'm, up for, I'm up for the unbox. I'm, I'm into the unboxing at the moment. So you've got a choice. You've got Sky Striker. Now, Titan. would you would you be taking the arc out of the box? Yeah. Well, I haven't opened. Oh, mine. we got to see the arc. Yeah, we got to see the arc. Yeah, we got to see the arc. Get the arc out. Go for the arc. Make space. They're off the table. <laughs> it's it's got to look like bear with me. Because this is it'll be interesting. It always is with you. Yeah. <laughs> I would love you, Rum. <laughs> I love you, Chip. Love you, Chip. Chip can I see you? Any, any, any American race driver, Chip Gassy? Any American race driver? What? Chip Gassy. He, he's Chip, a yeah. Chip Gassy. Chip Gassy is an American racing driver. Oh, is he? I, I have no idea. Why? Right, what is that? I see some cereal. What is that? <laughs> this is awesome. Fantastic Four. <laughs> What's that? Sorry, I'll see it as well. Just go for more Fantastic Four. Is there right. the black cat? Yes, C three POs. I had C three POs. I wish yeah. I. Had I do wish I had kept a box of C-3PO's. I know that Chris has one. That's probably where he is. He's getting his C-3PO's. Yep. No, C-3PO's are in a box somewhere. I do have my Prince of Thieves. Oh, very cool. Oh, okay. Okay, we're in. Also. That one turns. Is it cool? They came with different puzzles on the back. Hmm. Uh, all the covers are basically the same. Yeah. Very cool. It was yummy cereal. As opposed to, I do have somewhere, I've got my Adam's Family cereal, which was just weird, like a weird butterscotch flavor. It was not tasty. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you you wait until you see. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Ghost Ghost sent me sausages. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, no. oh my god. Have those been tasted now? Well. Right. Check this out. So I'm not. This has been sat here for ages. Not unboxed it. So this is this is a first. And look, I, I'm never going to be able to put it back as good as this. This is what, one of the reasons I was like, should I unbox it? Should I not? But I'm going to do it. Or I don't open things. Yeah. Right. For you guys, because it's you guys. You see. Uh, how do I do this again? Do no. I, do again? no, not that way. Oh. Black side down. There you go. I should never have sent this. <laughs> mm -hmm. This has been packed so neatly. Look. Is this the right one? I think this is. It looks like the right size. This will be like a Deathosaurus or something. You'll be like, how did I didn't know he was out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Has <laughs> he been sat here the whole time? You know? Mm hmm. Is that your only the accent, then, John? I like it when he does this. The only time I ever even saw this is when me and John were in Universal. Yeah, we did see it there, didn't we? Yeah. Because yeah. we were so, like, oh, uh, this is cheap. I'm buying it. Well, they, it was, oh, they were like, the, the prices on Transformers at Universal were absolutely ridiculous. Mm. It was more than double the retail price. You know? Holy we crap. Like, we were like, are you kidding me? You know, like, so this really frustrated me because 
this was 150 quid out the gate. And then I waited and waited and waited until I got one secondhand on eBay. And I think I paid 80. And now you can get them because they're pretty much sold out everywhere, apart from the Hasbro eBay store where they're now on sale for 70 quid. Well, what mm. is so annoying? The, so this is so this is second hand, but the arc is only seventy dollars. Yep. On yeah, the, they're not much. They they didn't because it's not like a vintage thing that's redone. They didn't sell that well. I would have bought. Well, well, they didn't sell very quickly, but they are sold out everywhere now. Apart from there, over here anyway, they are sold out now everywhere. Apart from the Hasbro eBay store, huh. so they must have some like some unsold stock or something. Um, well, I always wondered how it was going to sell because it's too big to go on the shelves at like Walmart or something. They had it. I saw it at uh, Target once on the bottom shelf. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I had ordered mine. I think, I think it was full price at Hasbro when it first came out. I was just like, oh, I gotta have one of these, you know. And yeah, and then it, like, a year later, went on sale, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Oh, you're gonna have to show me how to transform it then, because I'm always terrible. At oh, I didn't, I didn't open it yet. I haven't transformed it. I've got the Omega as well, uh, which I haven't unboxed. The Omega Supreme. Oh, yeah, that one I have open. He's cool. Um, oh. How does he pack this? Information. Expected. Protect Prime. Okay, strange ways. Never mind. Right, here we go. Yeah, he's a big boy. It's, um, I've been wanting to do this for ages to be honest, because I want to compare how big Titans are next to the Haslab uh, Transformers. See the size difference. I've got my victory saber there. Like. Victory shorter. Smaller. Yeah. So, obviously, it's second hand, so there's a little bit of edge wear, but not really too bothered. Now, does he come, the thing I was wondering is, did, when you open this, is he going to be in robot form or arc form? Good question. How has he left it? Has he packed it up? To get it back in the box, you've probably got to put it back into its original state, I would imagine. Yeah, it'll have a piece of foam or something holding it, yeah. Or maybe even a plastic tray. I don't know how they did it on this one. That's a worrying sign. Falling out. Oh, is it just in a cardboard thing? Wow. <laughs> so it's in arc form, huh? Yeah. Okay, look, so there, look, there's some blast How effects. How would I search the Hasbro store in eBay? Uh, it's, um, I have it saved. Hold on, it's, it's. Oh, these are the same blast effects, actually, that you get with the Haslab. A different color. And from Hasbro Toy Shop. Well, it is actually still got. I wonder if he's maybe he's just done that to type back in. Maybe where'd it go? 
Did you cut it? Oh, you cut it. Yeah. Probably just slid it back on. Yeah, I mean, I you, probably, you probably just don't want to. Because you'd get it out, wouldn't you? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, yeah, he's heavy. Oh, wow. They got the Blaster Soundwave 35th Anniversary Edition. <clears throat> oh, no, that's not the retro figure. Sorry. I thought it was the retro figure pack. Uh, How does that go? This thing's going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh, just a are you okay? Uh, what the hell? Yeah. Any kind of... now, I don't know about you, but I prefer mine in robot mode. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would, I would, I would just play it in robot mode. So, yeah, you have to look at the instructions and uh, transform. Oh, this is head. Big head. This is where I could do with um, Mr. Wolfie. Listen, for me to help you get fit for free. Listen, for me to get back to the US, I can't. Oh, you, you can't get away from us, you can't, can you? Who's that talking? In all this? It's TV. Are you watching Neighbours or Home and Away? <laughs> I have no idea what she's watching. <laughs> uh, I, I have no idea. I can't tell what it is from down here. Oh, still got its plastic on it. Oh, no. Oh, it's still got its, it's, still got its plastic on it, look. It's still got these plastic... Uh, Oh, it's holding some of these. That's not a good sign. They're not snapped, are they? Oh, I'm going to have to get the instructions out now, aren't I? Yes. Yeah, I don't do anything with new Transformers unless I have a instruction book put out. Oh. <clears throat> oh, here we go. See how far I can go without them. Transformers Holiday Optimus Prime. I don't remember this one. Wow, look at that. He's like a candy cane. <laughs> I've got the uh, Super 7 version of that. Transformers. More than meets the eye. Oh. What is this thing? Autobots raise their battle to destroy the evil forces of the, the different gods. Oh. Wow, he's a big, big boy. He's a big, big boy. This is definitely... Because I'm... This is definitely the bigger, biggest Transformer I've ever had. I've got some... I've got like... A, I've got a Metroplex and a few of the larger... G1s, but it's nothing. Oh, yeah, these Titans are huge. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's just get them down for a little bit. Let's see if we can. I'll have to manhandle this guy. Wow. Shit. Oh, my God. Did you rip his leg off? Oh, 
can't believe how I can't believe how big he is. That's what she said. Oh, I said that that's same exact thing at the same time, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I had muted though, but <laughs> right there we go. Oh my word! This thing. I can't believe it. This thing is absolutely massive. Yeah. Holy shit. Doesn't it come with like a, a little itty bitty Optimus Prime to stand next to it too? I don't know. I don't remember if that one came with a little guy or not, but some of them do, yeah. Uh, this is body's going to have to swivel around. There we go. thought so. Ah. And then, yeah, and then those hands should pop out, right? Yeah. Oh, ratchets. Good to see some ratchets being used. Give you a little bit more confidence when it's a ratchet. My God. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Doesn't fit on your screen. You can, you're, it's yeah. yeah. It's the size of it. It's your place big enough to go back far enough to see the whole thing. <laughs> It'd be like out in the neighbor's yard. Well, there's, there's the look out, there's the Optimus look, Lego, which is not, not, you know, pretty big. Yeah, and Victory Saber back there, you know, he'll come to his waist. This is just ridiculous. Wow. Does the hand twist? It might the hand might twist around. Well, uh, anyway, trying to get <laughs> the other part folds down. Yeah, I know it's got a couple of flaps. Yeah. Um, they... The arms must move out of the way some other. Yeah. Way. Yeah. You might have to go to the instructions and see how these things move around. I think I'm going to go to the instructions for a minute. But, my God. And then there's this whole thing here. Yeah, that I'm not touched. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, if I'm honest, I, I only remember the arc from the first just cartoon series. Like, they crash landed in it. I don't remember it ever transforming. No, it never did. Yeah. Um, um, but he's cool. He's very cool. I would quite like. Um, so I've got the Amiga. I would like it. I haven't got a Devastator. I would quite like a Devastator. That's the green one, isn't it? It's the green. Um, yeah. The green yeah. trucks and stuff. So anyway, there you go. That's I'll, it's probably about as much as I'll do for now. That's cool. There's his, uh, I think I might have his legs all the way around. I think they might be at the back. And you get all these effects that fly off him. I, I got almost every single one. I I, I got I didn't I didn't get Metroplex because he was the first one that came out and I never found him. But then I got I got Omega Supreme. I got um, Trypticon, Trypticon, the big dinosaur one. 
Yeah. So there's, and, victory. Uh, there's victory saber. Yeah. Like in comparison, I mean, comes up with weight. Yeah, it's half the size. It's cool though. Victory saber is cool. Victory is really cool. I wish I had backed that one. Yeah. I really, oh, wait, got, I really like what they've done with Defasaur. Like they've given him a throne. That was yeah. Kind of sweet. Yeah. Well, it's going to be cool to have both of those together because they were the opposing forces, you know? Yeah. So, there you go. There you go, Ghosty. Very nice. Kind of semi transformed Titan arc. Which I'll get back the box now. There's, there's, then there's some sheep. Yeah, there's some sheep. I'm afraid to oh, ask. Those are, the, those, are the I, sheep. Yeah. those are the sheep that ran away from Clarkson's farm. <laughs> well, I like the sheep. They're like warm and shaggy. But they have uh, they have like pooey bums though. Smelly bums. It's the little tiny legs that pop out the bottom. <laughs> you can ride them. You can shoot right now. You can. And yeah, we do that. Uh, we do that here all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting on a sheep to ride around. Sorry. We did you that can. when we were kids at the rodeo. Yeah, when I was a kid, maybe, but not today as an adult. I heard John went sheep riding once. You went sheep dipping. Well, my eyes hurt, so I've given up on looking. I still have this whole box to go through. Wow. These crazy amounts of comics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I had better head out for today. Maybe to go yeah, to the top end. I'm going to try and find uh, some more indie stuff. Brand new mm -hmm. uh, I got Marion, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping to find the others. If not, um, I've pre-ordered them from somewhere. But... I found them at Big Bad Toy Store, so I just ordered a set from them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I might have done it there. I might have done it on Amazon. But if I find them first, then I can cancel them and not have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly what shape the box is in and all that. That's true. Most of them... Like I've seen, I saw them on the shelf at one store, and then two stores had them in the back room, and they were all torn. Every single one of them has been torn because the, the it's literally a piece of paper for the back. It's as mm. flimsy as printer paper. Yeah, like it barely holds. It barely can even hold itself when you put it sideways. You know. Well, at the moment, gap um, technically <laughs> five. But as soon as I get rid of my roommates, um, I will have the entire basement back, which is already half full with Funko on the walls before they moved in. So then I'm going to pack all that up and get real toys back out. So then uh, that'll be a huge project too. Yeah, I've got. If you've watched my uh, toy thing, I've got two more of those cases downstairs that I'm going to fill with figures. Now, I was going to fill it with. Uh, Star Wars, but honestly, I can't get all my Star Wars into those two cases, so I'm not even going to bother. I'll put a peg hook of, you know, episode one, a peg hook of episode two, or whatever out. And then fill the rest with mm. other stuff. Swamp Thing, and Batman, and Superman, and all those. Terminator, and uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be fun. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I hate getting into my garage because I, it takes me a half hour to make enough headroom into there to start looking to sort things. Yeah. And so it I, by the time I'm about halfway done, I'm just tired. That's why I said, like, I actually have to plan and take, like, a, a week off because on the weekends or when I have a day or two to do something, I, I'll, I'll dig in a layer of boxes but then I can't just leave it out 
in the open out here. I have to pack it all back up, and then it restacks, and I'm like, I didn't accomplish anything. All, yeah. I, yeah. Move, all I did is move Just them move around. Yeah, I, I moved them around. That's all I did. You yeah. know, tomorrow I'm gonna use, leave this setup up for uh, Lego uh, studs, and then um, I'll clear it all off, and I'm gonna use these two tables to start separating this pile behind me. Um, so then I can kind of leave it out a little bit. But so yakface.com are rumoring that the next Haslab. Is going to be a six inch um, banter with a Tuscan riding it. Why are they doing six inch again? That's crazy. I, I don't know. It's going to fail. If it's a different it's Tuscan, like a has, maybe. It doesn't feel like a Haslab project, there. does it? A banter. I've got a nice Power of the Force 2 banter. Doesn't really feel like a bump as yeah. a hazard. I don't know. They're 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 reaching for stuff now. Just don't even just put it out. People, you know, don't put it in stores. Just put it on Hasbro.com. You know, limit it to five thousand, and people will buy it. Yeah. You know. And if they don't, you just sell them to Entertainment Earth and stuff, and make your money back. But if it's a classic uh, New Hope Bantha with a Tuscan, I don't want it. But if you make it with like the man, uh, the Book of Boba Fett with one of those, like the the Chief or something, mm -hmm. and then a stretch goal is the Boba Fett in that white outfit that you know, and he's like, hey, like a Bantha. You know, there's got to be a couple stretch goals for that to force people into it. But six inch bamfer can't be much money, can it? I mean, it's not. Oh, it'll still be three fifty. No, it'll be. Yeah, it'll be up there. Well, right? oh, it'll be. It'll be decent size. It can't it'll be. be about that big. No. Yes, if it's if it's an Bantha? elephant, if it's an elephant to a man. Yeah. Then it's it's gonna have to be that big. I suppose so. Yeah, it will be. Because the six-inch figure will only come halfway up its leg, or just slightly over halfway up its leg. I suppose so. Maybe they'll scale it down a little bit. But yeah, you're you're not wrong. It's just a an armature with legs. It's not like it has to have lots of joints or anything. Well, how much was the snow speeder? That was one hundred. That was one hundred and forty or something like that. Right. That I eventually got for like fifty dollars at. GameStop or something. Same with that land speeder and that Ray and her thing. I got oh, yeah, those yeah. for thirty dollars at GameStop. You know. But yeah, I, I didn't. I missed out on the land speeder. I got, I got the land on the snow speeder. That was a mistake. But the uh, land speeders went ended up being really cheap, didn't they? In the end. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not like it's. Not like we kind of didn't already have some of that stuff. It's they need Just to do, do something new. Yeah, exactly. You know, why can't we have something new? They just yeah. keep repackaging the old stuff. I agree. You know, somebody I don't know who it was, somebody ran on a rant on Instagram the other day about, you know, stop repackaging the vintage figures. I don't need another claw to or whatever. Give me a new figure. Yeah, that they redid all the Jabba goons. Yeah, and yeah. Those and I bought them because I'm stupid. But I mean, I would still rather have you know. Where's a new sculpt of the dancing girl or of Ola or, you know, there's do new mm -hmm. sculpts of old stuff or I don't know. There's still like fifty or sixty, um, Cantina people themselves that don't have figures. There's tons in the sequel trilogy that still don't have figures. Now, I know they're scared of the sequel trilogy, but put one figure in, because I can already tell you who the the uh, that one girl from Andor. That's the peg warmer of this new set. Yeah, because I already see three or four of her on the peg hooks, and nobody else. And even even Andor himself, in some places, is sitting around at my stores. I've seen one, but he was ripped. 
Because they what's were. It, um, is, it, is it what's her name? Blix or something like that? I don't know. Yeah. No, it's the blonde haired girl. It's not even Blix. This is the one I want. Oh. It's that one uh, uh, Mon Mothra's sister or cousin or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want her. Because they, but the other part of it is that they packed those like two or three to a case. You know what I mean? So I don't know how much it is, but it's like so they, there's they outweighed it by putting her in way more than the other figures, anyways. If they had, when they, it's always baffled me because the one that you want to make more of is the stormtrooper, but you limit that to one per case. You know what I mean? And then you make the girl. That everyone's only going to buy one of three per case. Mm -hmm. You don't troop build her. Like, why would you have three in the case? Why well, would you do the, the storm? That's the Lando one? problem all over again. Yeah, yeah, it's the Lando. We issue. all love Lando, but you know you don't need to put him three to. A you case. only need to buy one. You don't need seven in the case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and the, the the new cases have two of her in them. Two is of her, two of Andor. Yeah. Um, it should have been two of the stormtrooper then, not her. Yeah, you know? two of that that uh, artillery guy. Yeah, because yeah. he's the one people are going to troop build, so they're going to buy more than one of if they want to. You know, some people would want to. You know, well, most people would. I mean, your your cloner people, yeah, are going to want that. Do you think it costs the same to make most of the figures? Like, do you think it's like a cost thing where like she's the cheapest one to make, so they're gonna duplicate? They're gonna make two of her. No, where the it doesn't matter. It like doesn't you matter don't. At all. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. That doesn't I mean, matter. Yes, this guy has a little more. Um, yeah, they could have done. They could have done two of him. Because you're gonna need to that dude. Him. And then two of the stormtroopers. Yeah. I don't need two of her. No, exactly. I need one yeah. of her, and that's it. But you don't think she's any cheaper to make? You think it's all the same, basically? It's all the same. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm wondering what, what makes their decision. Like, why would they choose her over somebody else? You know what I mean? Because it, logically speaking, you don't need two of her in the box because everyone's only going to buy one. Where you do want two of the stormtrooper or two of that Klaatu guy because people might troop build those, you know. Yeah. Well, and they know people troop build them. So what they're going to do is a couple months down the line, you'll get a four pack of them. Yeah. On Hasbro, and there you go. Aren't they doing that with the sand troopers? Didn't they do a? They're doing it with the sand people. Yeah. Yeah, four pack of the sand people. Yeah. Yeah. And then they did it with those. There's done, they've done what six or seven of those packs now. Yeah, yeah. But you know, people are pissed about the the uh, Tuscan one because the Tuscan one has a new figure in it, and yep. it's not on card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know. And right now, it's the only way to get that version of that Tuscan. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we know eventually they'll put it out. They always do. But yeah, I don't need I don't need a new Klaatu or anything like that. Or they're not even new. They're slightly different sculpts on the same card back. Yeah, yeah. Same number, same everything. And that guy was in with the with the ATST originally. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't buy him because I had him from the ATST. So. Well, and I, I, w I don't have that ATST because I wasn't going to spend that kind of money just to get a new figure. I already have yeah. an ATST. Those they're not different. Well, know. it's got like a cloth thing on it in a well, net. <laughs> it's got a little paint, different paint sculpt, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I'm still not going to pay that much for it. You know, that's the crazy thing. But I mean, there's still characters from from Solo they could do. They there's so many new characters. That they can do something like <laughs> this with. I mean, do I well, really need a new Luke Skywalker in his black Jedi outfit? No. Yeah. no have they even done a Mon Mothma in any of her forms? 
like in, old in the trilogy. Vintage? No. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's nope. three different versions there right now. There's like the old trilogy one from Return of the Jedi. There's the ones like we saw in Rogue One. And now we well, got. And her. she's in episode. Remember, she's in episode two and three in a completely yeah, different episode episode two. Two. Yeah, she's in yeah. Episode, the prequels. And then we also have her from the Andor show. Yeah. So there's four or five different versions they could do of Mon Mothma, and we still don't even have one. And they're doing <laughs> one Black Series character. figure of her from Andor, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. You know. Because they did Bail Organa, right? Didn't they do him? From the prequels, um, though. He was from the prequels, though. He's a prequel character. They haven't redone yeah. him on, on a vintage card. No. no. Not on the vintage. He was on the old, the other card. Okay. Yeah, he's on. He's on like several cards. He's Saga or whatever they yeah, had. He started with a blue series, and then he was on an episode three card, and then he was in thirtieth um, anniversary set. Gotcha. Um, he's but been he wasn't in technically on TVC yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't been put onto the classic card look yet. See, I think they could do him too because now he's been in. Three or four different things, you know. So any one of them would work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like why make the decision to do another Luke Skywalker when you have all these other characters that you've never even touched in any form, you know? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you, you just repeat to fill the box out. You give us like three newish figures, and then repackage the rest. Yeah. And it's like, well. You know, I go back to the old example. There are 93 episode three figures. And those all came out in a two year span. But it would be nice. I don't, I, I don't, I would love to just sit down and be able to actually ask to go completely off the record with them, with a couple of these people and be like, what is the holdup? Why don't you produce figures? Why can you make, you know, I get that the tooling is harder on the vintage collection figures. Mm -hmm. But, you know, suddenly the retro line is doing okay. I mean, it's not like they're making, not making like, you know, three sets of that for Return of the Jedi. And, you know, now we have Andor and we have Book of Boba Fett and we're getting the Mandalorian ones. And, you know, where's my Rogue Ones? Right, where's my Rogue One? Retro series figures and Han Solo, you know. I still would like prequel ones. Yeah, prequel ones. There's, there's, there's six full movies they haven't done. Uh, eight. There's eight prequel movies. Uh, eight movies they haven't done. Yeah. The the prequels, the sequels, and Rogue One and uh, uh, Solo Han. Yeah. So. We have television series and the original trilogy, and that's what we've got. You can't tell me that they couldn't pump these out. Also, also, those retro figures, I wish they'd get rid of that big red sticker, but why is it still a sticker? Why isn't that just part of the card art now? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's like where they're like, well, we did order 400,000 of these stickers. We've got to use them. <laughs> got to use them up. Yeah. Got to yeah. use them. Yeah. And it's odd that those stickers are not on the Raiders packaging. That is odd. You're right. Yeah. Why didn't they put them on? Because they say it was like originally done so people weren't confused, but it's like the Raiders ones people have gotten confused. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, the Raiders ones, the back is completely different. And so are the retro ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the retro ones have that, that border. Yeah, you'd so never confuse them. You'd never, never confuse, confuse them. them. Never. Yeah. And the new Raiders ones, the figures have new copyrights and stuff on them. Yeah. You know, so you're not going to get confused. You might get confused with the, the weapons. But, you know. Well, the new Star Wars have new dates on them, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't put those stickers on the 3.75 for Marvel. Oh, I did see my yeah. target finally got the Ghost Rider retro in. That came out like ages ago. Yeah, we got them now on the shelves, but it's $35 or something. I was like, that's ridiculous. I don't remember what I paid for mine. At. I got it at Big, uh, Big Bad Toys. I pre-ordered it when it first came out. 
I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see if Target reduces the price a little bit before I buy it. Because yeah, well, now it doesn't have a home. Like my, mine is randomly just in the Marvel section. It doesn't have a sticker, so yeah, it's, it's not on a planogram. So you know, Target, oh. that's gonna go away. Yeah. So. Oh well, well, I really should get going so I can get some stuff done before our lunch, and it's already yeah. Going. I gotta get lunch, so yeah. plus Rum needs to sleep. To, to, you know, do whatever with the wife. Yeah, we can't hear Chip. He muted himself. Yeah, he muted himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I have, I have a loved one I can spend time with. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> you see, he's totally muted. We can't hear him. So. Um, thanks, guys, for dropping in. Uh, we didn't get as far along in my comics as I thought I would, but that's generally how these things go. Um, I got my stack bagged and boarded and ready to go, sorted, all sorted. So, Yeah, not me. I accomplished one. Yeah. This is going to be a long project, although I am going to take Gap up on it. I've got a buddy. Who well, thank you. Well, thanks comics. to you. Well, thanks to you, bloody guys. I'm going to spend the next two hours trying to put this back in a box. Well, just don't. Finish transforming it and just sit it somewhere. Yeah. Display it. You bought it. Display it. Yeah. I'm going to scratch my bum. Just, and then play with just you know, make Pilly Yum Yum sleep in the, you know, the tub or something and put him there, you know. Mm -hmm. Suspicious Ron is taking up space. Mm -hmm. Pilly, Pilly. Wow. <laughs> is anybody doing anything? I know tomorrow is a uh, Lego day. Right. So we'll be back um, tomorrow morning. I really want to do an early morning vintage, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do it on yet. But I might mm -hmm. just surprise everybody in the what, morning what, and be like, hey, I'm here. Jeopardy? Huh? What's going on with Jeopardy? I. Got to plan the days. We're doing it in April. Um, okay. So I got to plan. I got to. I actually have to get with the three different groups that are. We got three semifinal games and then a final, yeah. and just plan which Sunday is better for each group. You know. How can there be semifinals and finals with a champion and even in it? <laughs> They're not playing Monopoly. They're playing Jeopardy. Yeah. yeah. How does that work? Out? I already came, and I magnanimously let somebody else win. It's not the World Series. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's not World Series. Not really the World Series. Because I don't want to win every every week. I mean, fake, it would be fun. Fake, <laughs> fake, fake, uh, fake news. Oh, Vernon Connor will be on at three Eastern. Okay, that's not too far away. That's fun. Yeah. So it burns up too. So, all right, guys. Well, um, I'll see everybody tomorrow on uh, Lego streaming. Yep. And then um, I might join cats doing puzzles. And I've got a couple puzzles. I honestly don't know what I did. I had like Battlestar Galactica classic puzzles, and I don't know what I did with them. I've got to try and find those. Hmm. Uh, but my dad sent me a, a 1977 Elvis puzzle after he died. And uh, wow. so I'm going to put that together. It's only like 200 pieces, but so. And then I might play some video games later in the week. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. But until um, next time, catch you guys on the flip side. See ya. See y'all later. Uh...